Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to solve this uh, circuit on the board and try to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit with respect to terminals A and B. Now notice in this particular circuit it's a little different because we have a uh, independent voltage source, we have an independent current source, but then we also have a dependent current source up at the top. The value of this current source is 2 times I sub X and I sub X is defined to be the current flowing through the 5 ohm resistor. So this is our first circuit where we're trying to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit um, where we have uh, a dependent uh, source of some kind. In this case it's a dependent current source. It turns out you can find Thevenin equivalent circuits if you have dependent current sources or dependent voltage sources, any kind of dependent source that you are you know, used to dealing with. That's why it's so important early on in circuit theory uh, as we've been doing to get comfortable with these dependent sources. All right, so the basic idea holds. It doesn't change much because you have a dependent source in there. What you're trying to do is figure out, looking from terminals A and B, what's this circuit going to behave like? How is it going to behave? And it turns out, just like all the other circuits we've been doing before, that you can model this circuit between terminals A and B with a constant voltage source and a resistor, right? We call it the Thevenin voltage source and the Thevenin resistance. So what we're going to do is figure out the, the answer to this in two parts. We're going to find the Thevenin equivalent voltage between A and B, and we're going to find the Thevenin uh, resistance. Now, if you think back to a few sections ago where we introduced the Thevenin equivalent circuit, uh, all that stuff still applies. So really, you know, if you really want to boil it down, do, you know, solving for a Thevenin equivalent for this type of problem with a dependent source is really no different than solving the easier circuits or the more elementary circuits that we were doing a minute ago for Thevenin equivalent. It's just that this dependent source is going to cause you to think a little bit harder about the equations that you write. But I will go ahead and say that if you remember back when we, when we learned how to do it, we said for the Thevenin equivalent voltage, you need to find the open circuit voltage between A and B. We've done that many times before. And it turns out that for the Thevenin resistance, I actually showed you two different ways to find that. Uh, the first way is the bulletproof way that works for every circuit, and that's basically finding the short circuit current between A and B, and then using uh, you know, R is equal to V over I, basically Ohm's law, to use that knowledge along with the Thevenin voltage you have to figure out the Thevenin resistance. That's the bulletproof way that works for every circuit, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this section to solve this circuit. So really the procedure is the same. To find the Thevenin voltage, we need to find the open circuit voltage between A and B. And to find the Thevenin resistance, we need to find the short circuit current between A and B, and then we can calculate the Thevenin resistance. So that's what we're going to do here, but just kind of just so you have a roadmap, just keep in mind that if you remember back, I showed you two ways to find that Thevenin resistance. One way was the way we just talked about. The other way was, you know, looking back through these terminals, short-circuiting some of these uh, sources and removing some sources and calculating the equivalent resistance. So you can't quite do that exactly the same here, but I'm going to show you in the next section any, with the same circuit in a different way, and a, a, a more simplified way a lot of times, to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance. So bottom line, what I'm trying to say sort of like as a roadmap as you just kind of continue studying Thevenin equivalent circuits is that you always find the Thevenin voltage the same way. You've, you look at the open circuit voltage between A and B. There's always really two ways to find the Thevenin resistance. When the circuits are simpler with independent sources like we've done before, I've already showed you those two methods. When we get here to dependent sources, then I'm going to show you a slightly different